Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chris, and of course, this is my channel, Barn Eleven Nine Seventy. Thank you for checking out this video. Now, let's be honest. How many of you came to this video just exclusively for the title? Now, before you click off this, I want you to watch this, so maybe it might put things in a little bit better perspective. As you could see, and you'll see by the view count and the ratings on this, it will be probably higher than the majority of the videos I've done lately, is what I like to call fear porn cells. That's why there are people who listen to what I'd like to call fear mongers, like people like Alex Jones and others that have the end of the world scenarios every day, that everything is out to kill you. Um, there's always some kind of death around the corner, some kind of terrorist organization or some kind of thing that's going to injure the world or take over the world or end the world. The question I want people to ask themselves is why are you drawn to this? Now, because I know there'll be plenty of new people that are going to watch this video just based on the title alone. And my question is, what is it about the fear porn? What is it about death and destruction that gets people interested? Because basically, if you've never seen my channel before, um, I've had two channels. One was Barn on 11967. I ended that in uh, 2012, and I started this one about a month or two later. My channel is based on trying to see a different perspective of things, to not go based on doom and gloom, because basically everything boils down to choice. There is a reason why, for thousands of years, there have always been the threat of the end of the world. It's an easy form of control. It keeps people in a lower vibration, keeps them scared, keeps them nervous, keeps them concerned, keeps them focused on the wrong thing. And that makes a person easier to control, easier to manipulate, and easier to sell products. Now, you'll notice like people like Alex Jones and others, they'll sell DVDs, they'll sell books, they'll sell all the wonderful things that will save you from the very things that they're telling you could potentially hurt you. So there is some money to be made by getting people scared. And I mean, I when I first started my old channel, that's one of the reasons why I shut it down, Barn on 11967, is I fed into all that stuff. I was worried about the end of the world and how the economy is going to collapse and everybody's going to, we're going to become a third world nation and you got to get all the food and water that you can. You got to stock up. You got to prepare. You have to get this, that, and the other thing. Now, there's nothing wrong with being prepared because it doesn't always have to be a doom and gloom end of the world scenario for you to have necessity for things. You know, you can have something as simple as bad weather that takes out your electricity for a week. We've had storms that have done this. So having extra food and water is always a good thing. But when you're buying thousands of dollars of what they call MREs, you know, the military type of foods, the things that last 40, 50 years, you're spending a lot of money on things that you may never use. So my question is this, what is it, like I said before, what is it that draws you to these things? There is always alternative viewpoints in everything in the world. That's why there's the yin and the yang, the positive and the negative, the male and the female. It's all a matter of perspective. And if you look at it from the perspective of the people who profit off of the many, the few that profit off the many, for a doom and gloom end of the world scenario to happen, they would lose the majority of their livestock, which is us. Our, their, we're their cattle. Whether we want to admit it or not, I mean, we spend our whole lives working off debts. We're not really living the lavish, lavish life, lifestyle. At least the majority of people aren't. You could see that by how many millions of people just in this country alone are on welfare programs. They're not exactly living the life of the average person living in Beverly Hills. So we got to keep it real. So we spend most of our life working to pay off a debt, which is a form of slavery if you think about it. We need to understand that there are always alternative viewpoints. And the people at the top, the few at the top that are profiting off of the many, would it be wise for them to destroy 50%, 60%, 70% of the world 
Just imagine if you were a cattle rancher and your livelihood was based on how many cattle you had. Now, of course, if you have, let's say you have 50,000 cattle. Now, of course, there's going to be diseases, there's going to be injuries, there's going to be situations where you might lose a few. But just imagine if your sole income is based on those cattle and 80% of your cattle are destroyed. Just imagine what that would do to your profit margin. It would eliminate it. So they'll spend years, decades, centuries, millennia using the whole fear porn of watch out, something is going to kill you. But it never happens. Because even the coming of Jesus that they've said, that happened in the year 1000. They were talking about that as the end of the world. They were talking about that at Y2K. They were talking about that at 2012. And they'll continue to talk about it because it's a way to get trusting people, kind, considerate, maybe even gullible people to put their trust into somebody who may not have the best of intentions. And give away everything for fear that, well, tomorrow we're all going to die. So what's the sense of having these possessions? But yet for every person that gives away something like that, there's somebody else that's taking it. And that's where you have to see the two sides of the coin. It's about profit. It's about control. And it's also about misdirection. Because if, if the average bank, corporation, politician, Vatican you know, people in the Vatican are over here doing corruption. If they can get you worried about what might happen over here, well, you're not paying attention here. You're focusing all your energy in this other area. It's misdirection. It's divide and conquer. And if they can't buy your loyalty, they'll scare you. They'll throw you in jail. They'll create all different laws that, that restrict everything that you can and cannot do. I mean, just think about how many things you're not allowed to do. Now, some laws are very beneficial. I mean, for example, there should be laws that protect children from abusive parents or, you know, sexual predators. But they shouldn't teach you how to educate your children, how to clothe your children. As long as you're providing and you're being a fair parent and a just parent and a good parent, they shouldn't really be telling what you should be doing with your child as long as you're not infringing on their rights or you're trying to cause bodily harm. I mean, anybody that does that to their children or any child is a sicko as it is. But there are good laws. Like, for example, if I ever, and I hope I never do, need open heart surgery, I don't want to go meet some person on the street says, oh yeah, I read a couple of books about open heart surgery. I'll give you a discount. I'll cut you open and you know use a hammer and chisel. No, I want a licensed professional that I know went to school, went for the training, and actually got licensed to be able to do it. That's qualified. So there are good laws. But the majority of them are all about controlling you, all about using the littlest of things to take whatever money they can out of you. So they'll scare you, they'll bribe you, they'll trick you. And like if you look at things like the Georgia guy, um, the Georgia. Stones. I forget what they're called, the guide stones or something like that, because I don't even pay attention to these things, where they're talking about keep the population of their 500 million. Well, that's not even half the population of China. I mean, they have billions of people in China. So you're saying basically wipe out the entire planet and half, if not more, of China? I mean, just imagine the people who profit off of the masses going to movies, going to sporting events, selling products like spending you know, days online for an iPhone 6, 7, 8, 9, spending $1,000 for a phone. Just imagine if 80% of the people were gone. You have to think of it from that aspect. And if you think of it from that aspect, this whole doom and gloom that they're trying to th ram down your throat all the time doesn't really hold water. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, accidents can't happen and situations beyond their control can't happen. I mean, there have been earthquakes, there have been volcanoes, there could be other natural disasters. That happens throughout history, but not for nothing. Whatever disaster we've had, I mean, we've had things like the Black Plague that destroyed millions of the population, and yet we're still here. So it shows the chances of total annihilation are slim at best. It's not impossible, but it's not going to happen in our lifetime. 
but they'll they'll scare you with World War Three. They'll scare you with things like Ebola. How's that working out for them? Remember how everybody was talking about the Ebola as the next basically scare tactic? Do you see people dropping like flies, dying from Ebola? But they'll get you to be concerned because what happens? Oh, Ebola's coming. Let me go get a shot. Let me go spend money. Let me go fill myself with these mercury-filled toxins. And you know who knows what else is in them. It's all about control. So the, there's a purpose to this video. If you've been a subscriber to my channel, you know I don't talk about fear porn. If this is the first time going to this channel, maybe that might stop and make you think, well, wait a minute, I came to this video specifically for that title. And now that I listened to what this person had to say, it makes sense. And I no longer choose to be under control in that way anymore because it ultimately is a choice. They can't make you do anything, but they can convince you to make the decision to do something that they want based on manipulation, lies, and playing tricks because it's all basically boils down to consent i mean that's why we do have free will so they can't force you to do something even though they'll give the illusion of force but ultimately it's your consent so if you want to consent to being drawn and addicted to fear you have to ask yourself why because it's a choice and free will brings you here voluntarily i mean you can complain about this video all you want, but you chose to come here. Nobody knocked on your door, put a gun to your head and said, you have to watch this video or you're going to die. Free will made you decide this is something I want to check. So there's a reason behind that. The idea is to find that in yourself and understand or understand what reason draws you to the fear, to death, to the negative aspects of life. Instead of focusing on what's positive, what's genuine, what could benefit me, what can I learn that's positive, what can I do to take back my power? And if you subscribe to my channel and check out my most watched, uh, my must watch videos on my uh, must watch section on my main page of my channel, you'll see a lot of inspiring type of videos, things that can help you to set yourself free, things that you need to do to get out of a corrupt system. But it seems like majority of them are not very popular because it's not sexy to have just a general title of, you know, spiritual uplifting or learning about the truth. But like the title of this one about millions or billions of people dying or being murdered, it draws attention. So you have to ask yourself why. And once you understand the why, you could choose to say, well, do I want to continue going down that path? Or now that I realized it, do I want to go in a different way, a more positive, beneficial way? where I can learn things that can protect myself, but not in a way that it's based on total fear. Because it's ultimately a choice, and I hope you choose different. So if you appreciated this type of video, even if it wasn't what you thought it might have been, giving this a thumbs up, sharing it, favoring it, posting it on your social networks helps me to get this information out because I want us to start thinking in a different way. We keep thinking the same way, you know, like they say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, look at the history of mankind for the past couple of thousand years. All we've had is war, famine, slavery, controlled poverty, and we don't change. And we keep having the same thing happen to us over and over again. But it's a remember, it's by choice. And thank goodness for the internet that we can give information out that probably for thousands of years, people have never had the opportunity. So we need to take advantage of it. So I hope you do. So subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Check out my Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash barnon 11970. Uh, there'll be two Facebook pages under Barnon 11970. One is a troll account and one is mine. The one that says entertainer that has maybe 35 subscribers or something like that, that's the troll account. The community one that says Barnon 11970 and has about five, 600 subscribers or likes, whatever it is, that's mine. So um, I would love for you to check that out. So hit uh, the like button if you're on Facebook. Hit the subscribe button and uh, check out some of my other videos. It's about time we start thinking in a different way because life is made of energy, which is light, and magnetism, which holds everything together. So you know what they say, you get what you give. If you think nothing but fear, fear is all that you're going to get back. So if is it any wonder why the doom and gloom scenario keeps you grounded and paranoid and scared and 
worried about those things. Once you start choosing and realizing it is a choice, you can uplift, you can ascend, you can rise above, and you'll notice things will get better. Now, that doesn't mean bad things can't happen, but it means you won't have it dealt with the way you did before. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your night. Peace.